Hello? In this problem, we have an isosceles triangle, and we know the area, and we want to figure out what the perimeter is. So right now, we don't know much about our triangle. The perimeter, of course, is the sum of the three sides. And right now, I know nothing. Only that it's isosceles, so these two sides are the same. And I also know that I have a height, which goes from the vertex perpendicular to the bottom side of 9. That's 9 centimeters long. <clears throat> so what I can do with the area, the area of this will help me figure out what the base length is. And I'm going to call this the base because it's perpendicular to the height. So the area will help me figure out what that base length is. So I know that area is one half of the base. We'll call that B for base. One half of the base times the height. <clears throat> okay, so with this formula, I can figure out what the base is. So I'm going to do um, half of 9. Half of 9 is 4.5. So 4.5 times B. I'm going to divide both sides by 4.5. And my calculator says 90 divided by 4.5 is 20. So I know I have one side length of this triangle, and that's 20 units long. So let me put that in here where I have it. I'm going to erase my base, because now I have calculated that to be 20 units long. So one side down, now two sides left to go. So I can add them all together and get my perimeter. <clears throat> so I don't know what these side lengths are, but I know they're both the same. So I'm going to call both of them x. That's a pretty sloppy X. What also I know is I have myself a right triangle right here. And whenever I have a right triangle, I can figure out the side length by using the Pythagorean theorem. And that's what I'm going to do. I am going to, number one, chop this base in half. Because every height of an isosceles triangle bisects the base. <clears throat> so I basically have a right triangle with a height of 9 and a base of 10. Now I'm going to figure out what that hypotenuse is. So according to Pythagoras, 9 squared plus 10 squared should equal x squared, the hypotenuse. I'll come back in a second. So 9 squared is 81, 10 squared is 100, equals x squared. So adding these together, Ooh, that's sloppy too. Let me erase that. That was um, a mistake. So 181 equals x squared. And now I'm going to take the square root of both sides. And my calculator over here says that the square root of 181 is 13.45. And I always try to round to at least two decimal places. It makes good sense. <clears throat> so that's my side length, 13.45. So indeed, I know that both of these are now 13.45. So I can erase both of these. I have a side length of 13.45 and 13.45. So now I can answer the question, what is the perimeter? Perimeter is the sum of the three sides of my triangle. 20 plus 14, sorry, 13.45 plus 13.45, right? Let's see, yep, 13.45. So that gives me a grand total of 46.9, and the units are centimeters. So that's the perimeter of this triangle. Thanks for watching.